Hi and welcome back. In this video, I'll be showing you a simple way to make biryani at home. One challenging aspect of making biryani at home is it requires a lot of spices and other ingredients. It's especially very hard for us to get hold of all the ingredients required. Um, so I thought I'll make a very simple, easy biryani using store-bought um, spice powders and very less ingredients. This recipe is very useful for people who are pressed on time or for students or for people who are living in places where it's uh, hard to acquire all the spices required for a uh, dum biryani. Let's take a quick look at the ingredients. I have three pounds of whole chicken cut into pieces. You can use three pounds of leg quarters as well. This is one tablespoon of oil. You can use ghee instead. This is three tablespoons of ginger garlic paste. I used freshly grated ginger garlic paste, but you can use store-bought. Salt to taste, around two tablespoons of red chili powder. I like biryani spicy, so I'm using two tablespoons. You can adjust spice according to your taste. This is two tablespoons of coriander powder one tablespoon of garam masala powder you can use the store bought three tablespoons of yogurt please do not skip yogurt yogurt is necessary in this recipe because you're not going to marinate the chicken uh, for a long time so yogurt will help the spices get into the meat well this is one cup of fried onions pinch of turmeric a bunch of coriander leaves, four slid green chilies, a bunch of mint leaves, and one lime. And um, I have cleaned three cups of basmati rice and soaked it in water for around an hour. If you're pressed on time, you don't have to soak it in water. Um, we are gonna half boil this rice. Uh, so the first step is to marinate the chicken well with all the spices uh, and then I'll be cooking uh, the chicken first uh, and parallelly I'll also parboil the rice for around 50% done and once the rice is 50 at 50% I'll add um, layer the rice on top of the chicken and cook it for around 15 to 20 minutes um, in dum and that's when the Hyderabadi biryani will be done. So the first step is to marinate the chicken. So take a bigger bowl. First add oil, then add salt, add turmeric, add green chili, add ginger garlic paste, add red chili powder, add coriander powder, add garam masala powder, add yogurt, Add half a cup of coriander leaves and half a cup of mint leaves. Add around half a cup of fried onions and mix this thoroughly. So take the time to mix it thoroughly. Once you have mixed all the spices well, add lime juice and give it a quick mix. Because we use both uh, yogurt and lime juice, you don't have to let it sit for three to four hours after marinating. You can start the process right away. If you have time, you can let it sit for three hours after marinating and it will taste better. So I'm going to transfer my chicken into this uh, dish. I'm using a deep wide dish. Um, this is aluminium dish that I bought from India. Uh, but any utensil will do. All you need to have is uh, something that's deep and something that's wide because first thing is I'm going to uh, layer the chicken um, so the ch chicken will come up to this level and then top it off with rice. Um, so you need something that can hold that kind of capacity. So just transfer your chicken into the bowl. Once you have lay layered it well, turn on the stove and put it on low and close it with a lid. 
and parallelly I'll be making rice. So take a bowl and add around five cups of water into it. Turn on the stove and let it be in high. Um, so the rice needs to be a bit salty as well. So I'm gonna add around one tablespoon of salt. You can actually taste the water and if it's salty enough, that's good. And after you add salt, I'm gonna add around one tablespoon of oil into this. Okay, so the main purpose to add oil is uh, for the rice grains to be fluffy and not stick together. Um, so that is the reason I'm adding oil into this. You can also add whole garam masalas into this, but I'm going to skip that. So I'll let the water come to a boil a bit and then I'm going to add rice into it. Just drain all the water from the rice. It's been around 10 minutes now and you can see the water boiling up. Um, so I'm going to add rice into this. So keep an eye on the rice because it will... This rice will cook really really fast so you need to make sure you remove the rice at the right time. Once the rice is done, like 50% done, I'm gonna transfer the rice into this colander and uh, this will help me drain all the water. Once the water is drained completely, I'm gonna transfer the rice from here into, the, uh, into our actual uh, dish here and layer it on top of the chicken and let it cook um, for around 15 to 20 minutes. The chicken has been done. So you can see the rice has come to the top and it's 50% done. So I'm gonna drain the water from this. So turn off the stove and drain this water completely. Um, drain the water completely and keep it handy. Let's get to the chicken. So the chicken has been beautifully being done here on a low flame. So you can see there is some moisture in it. So now I'm gonna add this half boiled rice into this chicken. Make sure you spread the rice evenly. And on top of the rice, I'm gonna add the mint and coriander and add fried onions and I'm gonna seal this off completely so for sealing and letting it cook and I'll let it cook for around 15 to 20 minutes under um, just the pressure and done. So I'm going to use this dumbbell and place it on top of the bowl. So it's completely sealed right now. And let this cook in slow heat for 15 minutes. The time is around 12.50, so I'll be opening this around 1.05. So while the biryani is being done, I'm going to make some raita. I'm going to use around um, half an onion diced. And I'm going to grate some carrot. These are all optional. You can use whatever you like. You can skip tomato, skip chili, skip carrot you can add cucumber into this that should be good enough half a carrot grated take a bowl and add some yogurt into it whisk it well and make it smooth add all of these ingredients and black salt so it's 105 it's around 15 minutes i'm gonna open the lid so it's done well So use the fork to look at the tenderness of the chicken you can see the chicken has cooked well um, if not you can let it cook for around another 10 minutes so the biryani is done and it is ready to be served
the chicken is done. It's just falling off. Look at how the grains are not sticky. This is like perfect biryani. So that's it guys. Simple biryani is done. I hope you really like this video. If you do, please do share it with your family and friends. And do not forget to subscribe to my channel. I'm signing off and see you in the next video.